what's up everyone welcome back to my channel where i invite you to watch this beautiful sunset while i share some news that may come as a surprise to some people i don't know if you have ever had the opportunity to watch the sunset set fully from start to finish so what i invite you to do is to watch that beautiful sun as it goes down fully in and for the evening and as a matter of fact, this was taken in Jamaica. The news come as a may come as a surprise that more than a quarter of universities now provide a food bank services for their students in the UK. With a whopping, so I'll give you the exact statistics, 27% of UK universities operate a food bank for its students 76% help students with food and drink, and 43% provide free period products. This is according to a research that was done by Sky News, where it was also reported. Now, a lot of people may think, you know, that of course people are, have access to student loan. Yes, it is true. But student loan is given in parts where a part goes to tuition and there is another part for the cost of living. The problem is that the portion that is given for the cost of living does not increase based on the, um, the rate of inflation. So the amount that is given is set and you know that inflation does not stay. The cost of living continues to go up. A lot of students have reported that they are put in this situation because of one, rising circumstances at home in like the cost of living. There is that daily commuting that they have to think about and there is work as well. With a whopping 70% of students actually doing a part-time job. Some people have also reported that they are forced to do like 20 hours, 30 hours of work per week. So what you find is that students are going to their classes, but they are really tired. And they have reported that the cost of living is expensive. Because of that, even though it is having a negative effect on their socializing, keeping up with their assignments, and actually turning up to work, turning up for classes, of course, they cannot afford to stop working because they need to make a living, because they have bills to pay, the rent to pay, and everything that goes with attend going to university. Now, at first, you know, guys, when I heard this, my mind, I was thinking that no, not in the UK, not that many people are actually going through suffering as a result of the cost of living crisis. And I'm talking about students in particular. My mind goes back because, you know, if you are listening to what is happening, for example, in Jamaica, I am accustomed to hearing, for example, some influencers collecting money on behalf of students in Jamaica, collecting it for back to school supplies, where they're able to support people in this regard using their platform. But now we are seeing this is not only this is not this is not only happening in third world countries, but in first world countries, of course, the cost of living crisis is affecting students and university students all over. Because when you look at it, university students technically, some of them run into, you know, they are at that point where they are adults. So you'll find that they need to contribute to their cost of living. And on top of that, university is not cheap. Like I said, yes, there is loan, but the money that is being given for the living cost is just not enough to keep up. Guys, are you keeping up with the, um, the sunset? Do you see, do you realize that it is fully setting? I hope that you were able to see it step by step as it, as it was, um, as it was setting. But just to say, yes, people are suffering. I wish that there is more that could be done. 
but you know they always say that you know if you want good your nose have to run of course my mind goes back to my time in university and of course you know people will say that that's a different time yes it was a different time but of course perhaps it was even it, it, um, it was even more stressful because I came to the UK as an international student and I can recall that as an international student, of course, your money, your um, what you pay is more expensive. So I was paying £10,000 per year for my master's degree. So when I look back, you know, I can empathize with what students are going through now. And what I can say, I can say students, just keep going, knowing that your education you know, it will all be worth the sacrifices that you're making will be worth it. I should say as well, you know, well done to the universities for stepping in because I know that they are dealing with their own crisis. They don't have a lot of money. That's why some of them have gone on strike. Thank you for listening, everybody.